going on YouTube? Sid, Sid's Autograph Site here uh, doing a uh, 100 sub contest video response for Monster Man 8410. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mike at the Autograph Network for uh, basically introducing me to, to Monster Man 8410 through his uh, uh, video he posted yesterday. I went and checked him out. Seems pretty cool. Um, interested in a lot of the same things I am, movie props and horror items. So, uh, anyway, he's trying to get to 100 subs. I think he's at about 30 right now. Um, could be wrong. But I uh, want to help him get there, so um, making a video response for him. Guys, I want you to go check him out. His link's going to be down below. Please go check him out. Cool guy. Um, giving away three... Uh, prize lots basically uh, it's all signed 3 by 5 cards uh, categories 1, 2, and 3 uh, category 1 is Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, uh, related second category is Friday the 13th related which is the one I'm going to go for because uh, I do want the uh, CJ Graham autograph and then uh, the third lot is kind of a Legends um, related uh, you got w William Peter Blatty, writer of The Exorcist, in there. So some really nice uh, prizes he's giving away, guys. Um, let's welcome him into the community. Uh, I know he's been here a little bit, but he really deserves more subs. So uh, you can comment, I'm in, and you get one spot. Or you can do a video response um, and answer his three questions, which is what I'm doing here. And I think you get five spots for that. I'm not positive. Um, but go check them out, find the video, and get in on the contest. Um, basically, the first question he's asking is, what's your favorite uh, horror memory? Um, i got to tell you, my introduction to horror is kind of funny. Um, when I was a kid, I, my parents would take me to the movies every week, once, at least once a week. Uh, where I used to live in Florida, there was a 99 cent theater. Uh, every movie there was 99 cents. Uh, a few miles up the road, there was a mall theater, and you know, you pay, you know, quadruple that. Uh, but this theater, every movie was 99 cents. It would take a while for good things to get there, and they only had two theaters. Um, two movie, movie screens, so your choices were limited. So you basically had to just watch whatever was there, and so we would, and it didn't matter if it was comedy, drama, action, or horror. Um, and I would always go just, just for the experience, just for something to do, and it was fun. Um, so I would go and I would watch horror films, and even though I'd get the shit scared out of me. Uh, so we would go there and we'd watch horror films. I remember one of them in particular was Silver Bullet uh, by Stephen King and about all the werewolves and whatnot, and that scared the shit out of me. Stayed up all night with my headphone radio trying not to fall asleep. Uh, and then I know at uh, one point when I was in school, a friend of mine brought an issue of Fangoria magazine, uh, and I think they were covering Friday the 13th Part 3. Uh, on the cover, and uh, that, that even just seeing that magazine scared the piss out of me. But uh, eventually, it wasn't long after that before I just was hooked, and I got hooked on it. And um, my dad got me a subscription to Fangoria magazine, and I had it for years. Um, those are all since gone. But anyway, that's kind of my introduction to horror, and that was just kind of a, a fond memory I have of how I was basically introduced to horror by being, um, had the shit scared out of me and then just warming up to it and becoming hooked on it. Um, but the next question he wants to see is your five favorite horror autographs. Uh, I'd have to say these, uh, these here are probably my favorites. Uh, we're trying to run them down pretty quick. Um, this is when I met Kane Hodder. Uh, that's me with him right there. Younger, skinnier me. Um, getting choked out, which is what Kane usually does when you get a picture taken with him. Uh, wearing his gloves because his hands are all burned up. But I got this mask signed. I bought uh, one of the cheap dollar store masks and 
drilled holes in it myself and put the, the red uh, markings on there myself and he signed it. And I also got a trading card signed by him, but I've since uh, I think gave that away or traded that off. So I made this little shadow box thing years ago, put everything in it. But that was really cool to meet Kane Hodder. Uh, I played Jason, I believe, three or four of the Friday the 13th. Uh, he's also in Hatchet, another great movie series. I hope they continue that series. Um, it was really, really awesome to meet him. Got he was actually at a uh, haunted uh, or a uh, haunted house during Halloween, and uh, got lost getting there. Got lost getting home. So it was pretty interesting. Me and a buddy of mine went. So that's kind of a cool memory there. To meeting him, getting his autograph. One of the greats of the genre. Then we have uh, Tom Savini, uh, one of my idols growing up. I always wanted to try and be a monster makeup artist. Uh, Tom Savini and Dick Smith were my um, absolute idols. I had Dick Smith's makeup book too. Uh, since I now don't have it anymore, um, but got to meet Tom. I got a photo signed from him too uh, when he. Uh, it's a photo from Dust Till Dawn when he was in that movie. Uh, and I got this signed as well. Signed and inscribed. Uh, Tom was kind of a dick that day. I don't know if he was having a bad day or what the deal was, but he's kind of a dick. But it is what it is. You know, it's a little discouraging. You know, like I said, he was my idol. You know, I mean, you can see this book is all worn to shit. I mean, I read it and read it and read it and tried to follow all the makeup and tried to do what he did, uh, did and does. You know, wore the shit out of his book. Loved this book as a kid. Used to make my own monster movies and whatnot. But still cool to meet him, get his autograph. You know, one of the, the absolute legends of horror, Tom Savini. Um, all these people I met uh, in Florida. Now, I live in the Midwest where they don't do shit, but it is what it is. Um, then I bought the Dawn of the Dead. Uh, Ultimate Edition DVD set, uh, and got it my chance, or got a chance to meet one of my idols as well, George Romero. Um, my favorite horror movie is Day of the Dead, uh, which I do have a VHS copy of that, signed by Richard Liberty that I was going to show you guys, but that'll be another day. Um, but spell my name wrong, no big deal. Um, it's inscribed Sydney Stay Scared George Romero um, but yeah my favorite horror film of all time is Day of the Dead and probably the original Dawn of the Dead is up there in the top five too um, the originator of the zombie movie basically George Romero absolute legend really happy to get that nice guy um, and we have Mr. Doug Bradley. Met him in person in Florida. Um, got him to sign the Hellraiser digitally remastered collector's edition boxed VHS set here. Signed in silver. Um, Doug's got a beautiful, beautiful signature. Uh, to Sydney, see you in hell, Doug Bradley. Awesome. Really nice guy as well. And last but not least, uh, Probably my second favorite horror film, The Exorcist. Um, met Linda Blair. She signed this uh, special edition VHS, 25th anniversary. Uh, the Sydney Sweet Dreams, Linda Blair. Really nice lady. Uh, I had my picture taken with um, her and my son. I should have brought that and showed you guys, but I didn't. Uh, these are probably my favorite, five favorite horror autographs. Um, anytime you meet somebody in person, it's definitely going to be one of your favorites. Um, and last, he wants to know what you'd like to see as um, horror-related in videos. And I want to agree with Mike and see more props and stuff like that. Um, I like picking up movie-used, screen-used props and, and uh, clothing. I don't do it too much, though, because it's normally very expensive. Um, I do have a pair of pants worn by uh, the DJ in Piranha 3D, which is kind of cool. Uh, I showed that in a video a year or so ago. Um, I've had some other stuff too. I don't have all of it now. 
but screen use stuff is awesome, and not many people do that, so seeing that kind of stuff would be great. So that's it. Uh, Monster Man 8410, guys, go check him out. Get in on his contest, get to know him. Seems like a really awesome dude. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching. That's it for me. See you.